everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are back with more Amphibia. We are watching season three, episode five, Fixing Promo and Anstrominator. Um, I don't even, I don't even care about the second half, okay? Let's just be honest. You know what I'm here for. I'm here for Promo! Ah! So, okay, I know I need to keep my expectations in check because they're not just gonna magically fix Frobo. It's gonna take time. Frobo's not gonna be with us right away, probably. At least not in his like robot full form. So I need to I need to keep my expectations in check. But I am glad we will be finally addressing Frobo and my my son maybe will be back in some capacity. So I'm very excited. You all know I love Frobo. So I'm so happy to get some shred of hope that my boy will be back. So I am super excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind to support the official release of Amphibia over on the Disney Now website and Disney Plus app. Uh, Disney Plus will be getting the first five episodes of Amphibia in middle of November, I believe, something like that. So you can go and watch all the episodes over there when they drop. But I am super excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Check out the Patreon page. You want access to full uncut timers. And without further ado, let's get started. And now, the internet. <laughs> the answers to the mysteries of the universe right at your fingertips. Yes, an endless well of knowledge. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. Anything that brain of yours can think of can be found. We've got mountains of content, some better, some worse. If none of it's of interest to you, you'd be the first. I don't feel safe. <laughs> Really? Fixed it? Uh -huh. Okay, show us from. Uh oh. Well, what do you think? Pretty impressive, right? Um. You guys ready for this? No, uh, no I. I, I, I think you should turn him on yet. Yeah. yeah. But it's gonna be just fine. Oh, okay. Something's supposed to happen, right? Oh! I mean, a one of a kind limited edition controller just came in. <laughs> oh. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad, no, I'm so sorry. Holly, what were you thinking? You could have just killed us. I know you miss him. We do too. But you just need to be patient. No, I don't want to be patient. No. Teddy Muffins, he's your my best friend. Oh, hi, Pete. Hi. What the? Great. I eat ice cream. Oh, that's fine. Well, you would like this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, creepy bears aside, uh -huh. don't work on Frobo. Twelve seconds later. I forbid you, it's too dangerous. <laughs> the look on their faces was pretty funny though, huh, Frobes? Oh, oh. All right, you're still broken. But no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, robot hey, what's dance, this? new epic robot skin Fortnite. Auntie guys, yes, two girlfriends who really love robots. <gasps> She sounds really familiar. Who is her voice actress? She's from SNL, right? Yeah, she's from SNL. Oh, I don't remember her name though. You guys are probably what tools to find just lying around the house. Oh, I like Polly's outfit too. It's very cute. So, do robots have them? Hello! How's it going? Uh, hi. Hi. My name's Polly. Big fan. Long story short, I have a bit of a robotics issue. Oh my gosh! Is that a robot? Oh. That's beautiful. He is. Oh wait. Ultron. Oh no, Panda! What are you using as a power source? I just took some batteries out of the TV oh. remote. Oh no, that'll never be enough. You could try a battery module with a compatible connector and corresponding voltage. Like the kind they put in those creepy animatronic children's toys. I think I've got you. Oh. Thing. Oh. oh but Polly, I definitely wouldn't turn them on in your garage. Yeah, you need to be in a big space like a warehouse and have tons of fire extinguishers. We guys and girls, I'll take that into consideration. Bye. Oh, no. Do you think she's going to turn that thing on? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Good sound. 
And what? I thought you were looking at cat videos. Gosh dang it, Polly, you have fucked me again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I am nervous, Polly. I think we should wait till we get back to Amphibia to turn them on. Just to be safe. Second it. Third it. I don't believe this! Aww. After all the work I've done, after how much I've missed them, you three want to leave them dead? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I am waiting another second to see my best friend again. Oh, baby. <laughs> right, oh no. In this tent, I will box that will finally be over. <laughs> Dad, I love that you're a gamer. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Start up the cage. Hi. F0 or one. Factory settings restored. Factory settings? Oh no. No, look. Booster malfunction detected. Oh! <laughs> oh no, this has turned into quite. Polly, little kid has a tail. Build a crazy robot. <laughs> oh! I'm glad that they followed up with her. They're quite responsible individuals. Magic tear? I'm actually gonna cry. Don't. Oh. I didn't need to see that again, okay? I know he's dead. Oh. Hey, baby. No, no. Do that. Oh. <laughs> uh. You're a good robot. You're a good robot. You guys were right. I was so patient with bringing him back to life that I killed him all over again. Oh, baby. Hi. Oh, hi, baby. It's very impressive. Looks like his hard drive is still in one piece, at least. I think next time we just need to tune the PID control. Oh, yeah. Increases lateral and longitudinal stability. Totally. Slam module. Simultaneous localization and mapping. Look, I can't. Polly really got into this oh. computer stuff, huh? Hmm. Maybe we should have used the interwebs to educate ourselves too, instead of watching cat videos. Yeah, just maybe. Did someone say cat videos? <laughs> hey, hey, that kid. Oh, the backyard! Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm glad that I didn't even think about the fact that like, yeah, Frobo would probably come back in factory settings. So like the default, I, I don't know why that didn't like ever cross my mind. Like, of course he was going to, which is not good. That's very, very bad for us because they're like killer robots by default. As far as we are aware, at least. So I'm very glad that we have some part of Frobo back, that Frobo will be a part of our adventures again. Uh, that's very uh, calming for me because I love Frobo. So I've been missing Frobo. I completely understand Polly's like concern and her wants for wanting to get Frobo back. Like I get it. I also get everyone else's concern that we need to do this more carefully. We need to think this over. Literally, they almost got like singed to death by their laser last time. So I get them telling Polly not to, but I also get Polly's eagerness. <laughs> As someone who gets pretty eager themselves, I can completely understand just wanting to do it and just, you know, regretting it later. So <laughs> overall, I, I I get both sides of the coin in this episode, and I can't really be mad at either of them. Um, but Polly did do good, though. Like, they want to wait till Amphibia, but honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to find someone in Amphibia who knows about robots besides King Andreas. So I'm actually glad that Polly reached out for help and contacted the IT girls. <laughs> Because they, number one, seem quite responsible. Maybe a little careless, but responsible. Like, they're like, she's going to turn on that robot, right? And they're like, yeah. And so they went and tried to find her, which is, like, way above and beyond something they need to do. Like, ah, uh, you know. Thankfully, they're in the Cali area, right? So actually, um, that's relatively easy. A lot of, you know. 
people online are in the Cali area or start going there. So it's actually relatively good that they live near the like LAS like area. Um, but we did that. I like the characters. I can't remember the actress's name, but I'm pretty sure she's the girl, uh, one of the girls from SNL. Um, I think she's still on this season. I don't remember, but, um, she's in one of my favorite, uh, sketches. <laughs> um, it's one with Will Ferrell and he got a date with a woman from Moldova and she's like the waitress in that one. <laughs> so I was like, I know that boy. <laughs> so it's very fun. Um, I like them. I'm excited to kind of see them get integrated in a little bit more. And kind of their progress with Polly to rebuild Probo will definitely be fun. I'm excited for that. And I love how unconcerned they were at the fact that, like, a little girl Bobo with a tail. Like, they didn't even question. They're like, she has a tail. Yep. So what? I love it. I just love that people are, like, okay with that. <laughs> it's very cute. So, Probo is on the up and up, which is great. I'm very glad for that. I'm hopeful that, you know, we'll steadily keep building Frobo and getting Frobo kind of back to a frobo place. I don't know how quickly that will be because we do have other things to cover and that is a thing that's going to take time and, it, and so I'm not entirely sure, but I'm glad to at least have Frobo back in some capacity because I missed him. And I, um, I, I didn't really appreciate that they showed Frobo breaking again. And then just to show Frobo breaking again. <laughs> like, I was just like, I don't want to see him get like crushed again. And then they literally sh actually showed that clip. And I was like, uh, and then they literally showed him breaking all over again. And I was like, ah, stop. Like, just because he's not a human or a frog doesn't mean I don't care. I care about my little frog, Robo baby. You know, it's sad. I get sad. <laughs> so I got, uh, I got pretty teary eyed in those scenes. I'm not gonna lie. I was like actually struggling. I was like, just keep blinking, just keep blinking, just keep blinking. Blink the tears away. Blink the tears away. <laughs> Like, this is not where you'll cry. You can handle it this time. You're an adult. <laughs> oh, so overall, I really did enjoy the Fixing Frobo episode. Oh. Oh. What good, Clopat? Checking in to see how things are going. Did you get the book? Book secure. Why, that's great! <laughs> Wait, that's, that's book three. No rusty bucket, I need book two. Book two, I'll start. Ugh, alms have mercy. Next you're gonna tell me Anne is in Alms have mercy. Maybe you could stop being such a little bitch. You have one hour to destroy that kid, or the bomb planted in your chest will destroy you. Oh! oh cool. Andrea's out. Well, that's terrifying. And it really is remarkable how much you have grown. Aw, thanks, Mom. <laughs> hey, you used to be so irresponsible. Like, change the grade on your report card, you're responsible. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I can't do this anymore. What? Oh, Eat honey. coffee ice cream? I agree, it's pretty risky after five. No, I oh, have folks. I never told them about Andreas. Or the robot hunting us. Or the hunting invasion. Ugh. They think I'm being upright and honest. But I'm not. But you said this was the only way they'd be okay with any yeah. of this. Yeah. No, but it's not right. I'm going to tell them everything. Right now. Great. Right. Mom? Dad? There's something I have to tell you. <laughs> oh, they're just going to find out. Hang on. <laughs> And away 89 days. Oh no. This is not a workout room. Yes, it is. When I thought you ran away, it's when I work out all my stress. Wait, why are you all dressed like a doctor? A mom can dream, can't she? A mom can dream. Oh my god. Yes. I love it.
love it. Oh gosh, okay, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not used to running from my life from a crazy robot. I know just how you feel, Mr. B. Why the first time that robot attacked. Oh, Bob, this is not the time! Everyone, should I leave? I don't know. The four or five? At this hour? It'll be jammed, guys! Oh. Ooh, look at traffic, a man. Ah. Make sure you don't use that search. That one is no good. I like that mom gets her glasses on. Like, hold on. Let me look. <laughs> oh, that laugh. <laughs> Shouldn't it be scared of Anne's parents, though? I guess with little time left, we... Oh, this is a junkyard from the opening. Because we're in a junkyard in the opening. So we're going to see Blue Anne, aren't we? What is going on? What do you mean? There's a giant robot trying to kill us. I thought that was clear. Ah! But why, Anne? Why? Honey, maybe we should hear her out. No, she's lying to us. You've done something, haven't you? You're still the same irresponsible little girl who used to cut class. When are you going to grow up? When are you going to stop getting in trouble? When, Anne? When? I don't know, okay? Ooh. I don't know when I'll be the daughter you want me to be. And I'm sorry. It's true. I did lie. But I did it to protect the people I really care about. I finally appreciate how much you've done for me. Now I'm asking for your help. Please, I can't do this without you. We're with you, Anne. Aww. Right, Mom? I don't know. Isn't this all just too much? I mean, we really don't have a choice, to be honest. Uh, you know? So, is there a plan? Really hoping for a plan. Hey, Mom. Feel like putting your artistic skills to use? <laughs> right now? Not particularly. Oh my gosh. Okay, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, Mama, you are fast. It's all about rhythm, baby. <laughs> oh my god. I love mom. I love mom so much. Blue power time. Mom! Oh my god, mom! Get it! Oh my god, they just stabbed him. Jesus. Wow, I thought we'd have to use blue powers, but we didn't. Wow, we're really not gonna use them. Were you surprised by that display of ferocity, Mr. Boon Choi? No. <laughs> Mom fiery. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, damn. Okay. Wow. Okay. And what was that? Gosh, guys, I have so much. To tell you. Oh, honey. Oh. Honestly, Mrs. Bonechoy, Anne has just been trying to... I'll take you three. I get it now. And whatever it is you guys need to do, we'll do it together. Oh, mm. Aww. Aww. The driver always gets left out of the group. <laughs> you guys just imagine I'm there? Oh, my God, Dad. I love you. Get it. Get you uh oh This may be the real. It's time to call Mr. X. Mr. X. Oh my god. Okay, so Mr. X, we have a name now. Mr. X. Huh. <laughs> and then we had the uh, Anne episode, which I am glad for the most part now that mom and dad will be on the same page as everybody else on Team Anne. I... I get why we lied to them. I do. I really do. I'm pretty sure I even said in episode one, like, you can't tell your parents that, like, people are coming after them. Like, they'll never say yes. But I'm glad that they're all on the same page. I'm glad that mom seems to have for somewhat forgiven her daughter for lying. That last shot of them in the car kind of made us feel like mom's just happy her daughter is back. But oh my God, the workout room though. <laughs> I am so shocked by that. Like, 
I I get it because let's be honest, like workout room, you know, it was an arts and crafts room. My girl in her arts and crafts, but like, like paper mache her daughter and stuff and like hanging up a picture. It is a little bit concerning. I mean, granted, yes, your daughter has been missing for like in a huge extended amount of time. Like she had like 89 days on there. I can't remember if it was a little bit longer. I think it was about that time though still. Because, yeah. Um, I think she might have missed counting a few days. I'm not sure. She might have finally just kind of stopped counting it exactly. But, um, yeah, I was a little, a little concerning. But I'm not, I'm not judging mom because we all need to do our own thing to get through hard times. And if so, paper mache your daughter and hugging mannequins is your way to cope through it. Okay. You're not hurting anybody. Well, you might be hurting yourself a little bit, but um, you're not actually hurting anybody. You just miss your daughter. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. I would say it's probably a little bit unhealthy, though, for her. Like, to just keep making, like, little paper mache esque things of your daughter is a little weird. Um... But you know, no, who, 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 who are we to judge? Honestly, like I thankfully have never lost a daughter or a pet for that matter. Like that, like I never had a pet that ran away from home. So I, I've never like had that like true fear of like losing something like that. So I I have like zero place to judge how like mom handled it. I really don't. So please understand that I'm I'm not judging her. Just a little concern as she was concerned for her daughter. But, um, I like that they were just, um, they're just all getting along really well, and I think that's very wholesome. And the fact that Anne has become more responsible, she has. It's just, she needed to lie in order to be able to get her friends to even be allowed to stay at her place, you know? So Anne wasn't being malicious or anything. I think we can all agree. And I think her mom and dad, dad was a little bit more um, welcoming right away. And he was very, uh, he was willing to listen to Anne, which is very sweet. And I think that's kind of the, the dynamic of that uh, relationship. Mom is maybe a little bit more of a spitfire, quick to judge. And dad is the the more rational head of the two. And he's like, hey, 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 like, like I know you. I know you're, you're going to, like, do something you might regret right away. Like, why don't we stop and think about this? Let's hear this out. Let's not just immediately start throwing blame at someone. So I like that part of their relationship. I think that's very sweet. And of course, I loved when <laughs> mom just started hitting the robot. And <laughs> Hot Pop's like, were you, were you as shocked about that display of furious anger or something? He said something like that. And dad's just like, no. <laughs> Not like he was afraid. But just like man has been to war and he was just like, no, <laughs> I've seen my, I've seen my wife take on many monster in our world and she always comes out on top. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it was a really good scene. <laughs> a nice moment with dad. Um, so I... I have nothing but respect for Anne's parents. I think they are very well written. I appreciate the fact that mom does have this like character trait about her that makes her just a little bit uh, quick to jump at things. I think it is kind of a mom trait to have. And so it is kind of interesting to see it played out in a kind of a quick format type of show because... They could have made mom not forgiven her right away. And we could have had like another tense episode next week or something. That kind of um, 
breaks this trust mom had. But I'm glad that we seem to somewhat resolve it quickly because I think story-wise, it would have been a little bit meh to carry those feelings of, like, distrust over. I think, honestly, for the story to work well and to build on these characters, we need to have that trust. It can falter, but we need to have it. Especially because we have already had, and, and this sounds kind of bad, and that's not to say the writing's poor or anything, but when we stop and think about things, we have had these episodes before. We have already treaded the mistrust episodes where, you know, someone was lied to the other or some things weren't made clear, and then we have this awkwardness for an episode or two. And so we don't really need to retread that. We don't need to go back and fix that because we had Anne and uh, Hop Hop have their mistrust with the box, things like that, finding it out where we just don't need to tread over things quite the same way. Certainly we still have like, you know, Sprig being a child and having his goofiness and meddling, what have you. And Anne did the same thing back in Amphibia. And retreading the trust thing is a little redundant, especially because Anne and her mom have a pretty sturdy base of trust already formed that we don't need to rebuild it again. Like, it's that mother-daughter relationship where, you know, things are going to happen. And at the end of the day, you're still blood and that that is there. So... It's definitely interesting, and I appreciate that it seems like we're not going to retread the same ground this the you know the same way with a few episodes of that. But now we have the FBI coming in, which I'm very interested. I'm glad that we're just kind of going boom, boom, boom with all these new characters and um, settings and ideas, what have you. So, it seems like the blonde dude and the RuPaul character are coming in. I don't know if it's actually voiced by RuPaul. Like, I saw it online, but I, like, still don't believe it. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, really funny. And it looks exactly like RuPaul. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely excited for next week. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Um, to have characters in who are going to be spying on us is uh, rather wild. I'm certainly interested to see what they'll do. If they'll always kind of be just trying to pop up and get us. Especially because now we don't have the other uh, robot coming after us. Since we booped them into space with our blue chaos powers. So I'm not sure, like, is that technically our new, like, antagonist here? Which I like. I do like it. I'm just kind of curious if, like, King Andreas will send more anytime soon? Or are we just dealing with, like, human-esque things? One of those being the FBI for the next couple episodes. It's, it's certainly interesting. I love Amphibia. I think you all know I love Amphibia. So I am just super excited to see where the show is going to go. I'm always excited every Saturday to watch the episode. It really makes me happy. I'm always having a good time. I'm always laughing. You guys know I just love the characters. I'm obsessed <laughs> with the story. And it's just, it's fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. Please remember if you like this video to like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you all later. Bye.